My name is Pat D. Bernardi. I'm originally from New York via the Bronx. I lived there for approximately 33 years and then I moved to Houston, Texas for 37 years and now I live in Jupiter, Florida with my wife and uh, we went on a uh, Panama relocation tour a few years ago with Jackie Lang and we discovered Panama and during our trip we had asked Jackie about because we like being close to the beach what would be a good area to consider she told us about this area which is La Barqueta Nice we fell in love with a house that's here our house and the area we found some very nice neighbors the uh, neighbors over here primarily consist of half Canadians and half expats it's a great community very friendly and uh, as far as we're concerned we found a bit of happiness I mean, excuse me, I should say, a bit of paradise. We are happy, <laughs> very happy. I must say, having bought a house in Panama, we originally never considered moving abroad. We were going to just vacation here, there, and everywhere throughout the, throughout the world. But after taking Jackie Lang's tour, we decided that we fell in love here and we decided we were going to come here anywhere between four or four and a half months a year and that's what we do now we bought a beautiful house we're very comfortable here and as you can see the scenery behind us is gorgeous and uh, who wouldn't love being here for a few months out of the year Hi, I'm Kay D. Bernardi, and when we took Jackie's tour back in October of 2018, we came to Las Olas because, like Pat had said earlier, um, she had told us about the beach, and that's pretty much where we decided we would like to look and possibly buy. Uh, we saw this property two times and fell in love with it within a matter of, what, three days? About that, yeah. And so we went back to Florida and decided, okay, we're going to buy it. So in December of 2018, we became property owners here in Las Olas, or La Barqueta, and it's been wonderful ever since. Our neighborhood around here is so friendly. We have people from the United States, Canada, um, gosh, I'm trying to think any other one. I'm not sure. But it's just a friendly atmosphere. You couldn't ask for nicer people. We all get together, or did before the virus hit, about once a month for potlucks. And over at Las Olas at the resort, the restaurant was open, so it was handy for us to go there to eat once in a while. Um, the beach, as you can see in the background, is absolutely beautiful. And we just couldn't ask for anything more. Besides having the benefit of living on the beach, uh, we didn't come here just to have a beach community and nothing else. We are fortunate enough to live no more than 30 to 40 minutes away from uh, many of conveniences for us. Of course, paramount would be uh, health care which we have the second largest hospital in uh, Panama called Chiriqui, which is less than 40 minutes away. The local uh, supermarket is about 20, 25 minutes away. Uh, we have uh, a lot of large stores, in, including uh, oh, Price, Mart. Price Mart, which is where everybody eventually goes. It's a, it's a sister store to uh, Costco, Costco which home. is in the States, or it's even overseas. I think it's in other countries also. But uh, we're fortunate enough to have that. We have the convenience of the major highway, the Pan American Highway here, which can take us all over Panama. And uh, some, of the, some of the beautiful areas we've read about and heard about, we've been to some, but there's many more we'd like to see. Oh, I can't forget the Federal Mall. Eventually, it will be up and coming. Right now there's like two or three stores, but because of the virus, obviously they're not open. But that's also going to be a plus in this area.
currently own this property for approximately two years, and although we've been back and forth over a period of a year and a half, multiple times, twice already, uh, we've had some uh, unique experiences, one being when we came here uh, this past New Year's, or January, it was January, I guess you would say December 31st, 2019, we had the benefit of going to a New Year's party in Las Olas, which is a uh, resort right down the street. It was wonderful. The, it was one of the greatest experiences we had. They had uh, they put on some floor shows, lots of Panamanian music, cultural shows. We met some wonderful people. The food was great, and uh, we, we're looking forward to doing it again this coming year. Among the uh, questionable or not great experiences is we bought some bikes and we thought we'd exercise and <laughs> came and I tried out this brand new beautiful bike, one of the top of the line bikes and what happened was I've been having problems with my leg and I couldn't raise it high enough and so I fell off the bike and when I fell I scraped my leg and I developed an infection that took three months to heal. So there were numerous visits back and forth to the hospital with medicine so on and so forth but now it's behind me and uh, hopefully uh, when I come back the next time, I'll be more agile and I'll be able to ride a bike. But then again, who knows? One of the things I like to mention is depending on your lifestyle and your expectations when you come here, if you think you're going to find everything super cheap, it doesn't necessarily hold true. What you expect and what you want could be two different things. If you expect to live a certain, say, uh, higher end lifestyle or middle class and upper it, from wherever you come, when you come here the prices could be comparable. Uh, some of the things are much cheaper, but overall, if you're accustomed to middle, middle class living, you'll find that the prices are pretty similar. Uh, so if you're looking for a place to come when you hear about Latin America, how cheap it is, there are things that are lower cost here, but overall, you won't, you won't be able to go back home saying, wow, I saved so much money, because you'll find out if you do have a certain style in mind, and you want to maintain that, you won't find cheap prices. And one of the things I have found in Panama is you have to learn how to drive the Panamanian way, which means there are very few stoplights here. If you see a stop sign, it's usually no, st no cop, no stop, I've noticed. Um, the first year I drove, I was scared to death going into David. This year, I'm like, watch out, here I come. <laughs> You just have to learn to push yourself through the traffic, I guess, and, and if they don't let you through, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you'll be sitting there for a very, very long time. But um, overall, it's been, it's been a wonderful experience. It really has. Based on our geographical original, originalization, if you will, her being from the Midwest and me being from New York City it goes without saying, we both have totally different styles of driving. As you would imagine, from New York, I'm extremely aggressive, whereas she wasn't. But she's learned to become more aggressive out of necessity. Regarding this area versus safety, or if you will say crime rate, from time to time there's been a few break-ins caused by primarily the fact that a majority of, I would say, 60% of the homes are vacant during a certain part of the year because people come down here just to be on the beach and spend three to five months. And once they're gone, they make them desirable trap, uh, desirable places by, should we say, potential burglars to come. But they've all been minor crimes. Nobody's been hurt out here. Nobody's been assaulted in any way. Or, so uh, when you talk about safety, I guess strictly the main downfall would be break-ins, which have been uh, minor. Uh, other than that, we feel very safe here. We Probably the um, 
only incident I can remember for this past year was when they caught people on the beach uh, stealing turtle eggs. And thank goodness someone that lives in the condo contacted the police and they confiscated the, I think there were four quads that they had, which had no papers with them, and all the turtle eggs, so. The things that we really enjoy doing here at La Barqueta is walking the beach at low tide. Um, you could go for miles either direction. I have become a shell collector. I've got lots of shells that I've been picking up along the way. And at night we like to come out and sit on the pool deck with a glass of wine and look at all the constellations. The stars are absolutely beautiful here. It's like being in a planetarium. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I have to agree with that. And also, this beach is very unique in that it has a volcanic sand. And when we're walking the beach, if the sun is out, the sand glistens, it sparkles from when the sun hits it, which makes it very different than a normal white sanded beach. Although the sand does get hotter than white sand, but it's really different and it's unique. Something that you can talk about to anyone. And they, when you see photos of where we're at, they all say, wow. La Barqueta, I feel, has so much more to offer here. It's a small community, but everybody is very, very close-knit. Um, we have a neighbor just like two houses down that uh, provides her swimming pool to do um, aqua size when she's here. Um, I've taken basket classes from a gal from the United States that comes and stays for four to five months. And we also have a... Um, WhatsApp uh, what it called? connection, connection oh, that we keep contact with every morning ever since this virus has started to make sure that we're all safe and sound and accounted for, which has really been nice. It's very helpful to ask questions about where can you go to in David or wherever to find certain things. Um, it's just everybody's helpful and there's never, you know, any negative on it. It's just um, everybody's pleasant. We have a fellow that's down in the condos, he and his wife. Um, he's very helpful with taking people on little tours through the mangroves. He likes to do kayaking. He um, does bicycling. There's a group from here that take uh, and ride their bikes probably two, maybe three times a week, if well, maybe, to Guaramal in the morning and they would stop and have breakfast and then ride their bikes back but they include everyone so it's not like you're excluded from anything it's just been a really fun community the panama relocation tour is well worth its weight in gold um, i can't say enough about that i would go again even after we've bought property here. You start in Panama City and work your way up and Jackie is so knowledgeable and the book that she gives you is like... It's all encompassing, it covers everything. everything. Um, we brought two pets with us. If it hadn't have been for Jackie and all the questions that we had asked her uh, prior to bringing them, we would have been lost. But she even covers that in her book, she, you know, insurance. It's, it's just a vast... Um, array of knowledge and like I said it's well worth its weight in gold. It's also a great geographical tour because it covers pretty much the whole quite a bit of the countryside and you get a good uh, smattering of what this country is comprised of as far as geographically what, what you know the, uh, I guess sightseeing tours or, or whatever beaches and dry land and just it's really it's very thorough to say the least. And she has some experts come when we stop in different locations and they tell us about, or shall we say, people who have transplanted and moved to Panama. And they tell us about their experiences and how long they've been here, years, 
and what they love about it and if they have and all volunteering to help us with anything if we ever have need they give us their phone numbers or they'll give us uh, their whatsapp or or just you know any way to get in touch with them they say please call us we'd be more than happy to help help you with anything well the nice thing about jackie too is once you're done with the tour she doesn't forget about you you can actually contact her and she will still give you information where a lot of places you feel that once you are done with the tour they don't want anything more to do with you I, I like I said I can't tell you how many times we've contacted her with different um, questions that we've had and she's been more than willing to give us answers and help us out and on occasion there's been quite a few times that we've run into her ever since the tour since we've been here we go shopping or something we'll run into her in David in a different store and she's always so pleasant remembers our names and just talks and uh, just like she knew more about this house than we did when we first came here she she in fact she could tell us things about this house after we bought it that we didn't even know.